the air because it does make it a little more challenging for Morty to do that. Sound good? This is Morty the awesome. Great, great Horned Owls. Great Horned Owls are one of the five species of owl we have here in Florida. of those species. So we have some other species that are just a little bit smaller than him. And the other thing that really defines the great horned owl is their ear tufts. So they are where his ears are, kind of deceiving. But on the top of his head, on either side, he has little tufts on those sides and they help him with his camouflage. So not only does his pattern help him camouflage, but those little ear tufts, he'll stick in the air and get really skinny when he wants to blend into the trees and it makes him look a lot more like a tree branch. You ready, Morty? Yeah. Go. Huh? Oh, you said How are you going to see the Great horned owl in your yard visiting you, which is pretty exciting. 
And what about Morty is very special is he is a rescued bird. So at one point he was a wild owl and he lives here at the zoo because he was deemed non-releasable. And the reason for that is when he was a wild owl, people thought it was a really good idea to feed him hot dogs. Oh. Yeah, very surprising. Do you guys think hot dogs are a good source of food for an owl? No. No, not at all. They are not a well-balanced diet. They don't have all of the parts that they need. They like all the fur and feathers, and all of those things help them digest their food better. So having a fully processed hot dog does not help owls out at all. And so he was starting to swoop down at people, though, because he thought that people meant food. And so it became really dangerous for not only the people he was moving down at, but also for Morty, because if he swooped down at the wrong person or in the wrong area, a dog could have grabbed him or other things. So he was deemed non-releasable and came to live here at the zoo. And he loves his life here. He likes getting to come out and see all of you guys. But he does have a really good take-home message because whenever we see wildlife, it's really exciting. And if you saw an owl in your yard, I'm sure all of you would love that. But you don't want to interact with those wild animals because as soon as we start interacting with them, we can habituate them to humans. So if you start feeding them or getting really close and enticing them to come down, it can get to the point like Morty is where they can't be wild animals anymore. And that goes for all wild animals, even those squirrels in your yard or anything like that. You don't want to feed them human foods because it's not the best thing for them. And so if you see them in the wild, take pictures, enjoy them, but try not to interact with those wild animals. But I think we're going to end it right there, right, Morty? He's like, I think I'm done with my flying today. But if you guys have any questions about great horned owls, feel free to come up and chat with us. Otherwise, have a great day today at Zoo Tampa. Thank you for coming to our Wildlife Connection. Do you have a question? Do you think you was listening to what you said? Maybe. Yeah, you have a question? Morty the Great Horned Owl.